Hi there, I'm Andy. Welcome to our video for the amazing new Shuffle Pucks Shuffleboard system. Uh, it's worth noting, first of all, that this uh, product is aimed at the commercial stroke hospitality sector. So those are the customers that can buy this. So if you're a domestic customer, you can't buy this, I'm afraid, but you could, you know, I'm happy for you to just watch along and see what it's all about and how you play the games. And obviously, as these get sold into commercial venues, you'll be able to go along and play them. And they're amazing fun. So it's worth trying to track down one of the venues uh, that we sell them to so you can go and have a game. So in this video, I'm going to run you through the hardware. So I'll take you through the board. Uh, you've got the touchscreen panel there. You've got the TV, you've got the camera. I'll take you through all of that and how it all works. I'll show you the back end software as well. So if you're a commercial venue, you know uh, how to operate everything it's dead easy uh, and then we'll take you through the games so um, stick with us we'll take you through everything you need to know okay let's talk about the board first of all then so it's a 14 foot uh, board it has a solid oak cabinet um, in a sort of dark stained finish and the board itself is made from the finest Canadian maple and it's of supreme quality with a, an epoxy resin uh, finish which you slide your pucks along. You'll notice that the difference versus a normal shuffleboard which has scoring zones at the end of one, two, three, depending on how long it, the board is, it might have four, it might have five scoring zones if it's a full length 22 foot board. But this board doesn't have any of those scoring zones because the camera does all of the work you'll see that the markings on it really are just the, the sort of throw line there that you need to get the puck past. And then you've got a target spot here, which the camera is obviously watching because for one of the games, you're trying to get the puck as close as you can to this target point on the board. So that's why that is on there. And that's all you need to know about the board. Okay, onto the hardware. So we've done the board. You've got a TV screen, just a normal TV screen, flat panel, goes on the wall, dead easy. Above it is a camera. Now this is important because that has to be placed at a certain height and distance from the board for it to be able to work properly. The other thing is the lighting. So we've actually got a suspended set of lighting with a load of spotlights all lighting the board because the camera, to sense where the pucks are, it needs to be perfectly lit. So in your venue, you will need to organise perfect spotlighting to go over it. We luckily already had a suspended strip here along which we've put all of the spotlights, which as you can see are lighting the board properly. But it's a really important consideration. If you have too much light in your venue or you put it by uh, a window or you've got other spotlighting going on, it will affect the camera being able to pick up the pucks and therefore the gameplay. So it's a really important part. If you're gonna get one of these, you need to have that lighting piece sorted. We don't sort that out for you, that will be down to you. So it's just an important consideration. And then the other piece is the touch screen. So the touch screen unit here enables you to be able to put in your uh, player details, pick the games, um, and that can be mounted either as we have done here, or if you're gonna put this up against the wall, you could mount it at the player's end there. Um, but you're gonna need to have somewhere where the players can easily access to be able to tap in the details that they're putting in to the screen. Okay, so onto the touchscreen. Let's show you from a customer side, from a player side. You'll see we've got lots of little pictures of, of our staff actually on here. We've just all been playing uh, on it. Uh, so you can see us uh, on there. If you want to add somebody, uh, then you just pop in that person's name. Uh, so, I don't know, just put in Jono, our cameraman, and I will stand in it. And there we go. So uh, there's my face, Jono's name, and then we hit the tick and then we can see that I've appeared again uh, down here. So once you've added all your players into here, um, you can then see uh, where all the players are here. You can drag and drop them. So we've just added Jono. We already had four on that team, so we can just drag and drop Jono into the green team there. You can randomize who goes with what, or you could set up the two different teams uh, as you wanted. And then you hit next, and then you can pick your team mascots. So as you go through here, you can sort of see you've got Vikings, uh, bears, lions, uh, what else have we got? Or you could randomise it if you wanted. And then it comes onto the three games. So you just pick which game uh, you want to play. So we start off with Tower Stacks are at the top. And then it gives all the instructions on here. So it tells you how you're playing it, what you're going to do. If you, if you don't fancy it, once you've had a look at that, you can exit and you can go back and pick another one. Or you can just click uh, play now. And uh, the system will then check for pucks. So it's checking the play board is clear, that it's happy that you can go ahead and play. It's done that, you hit start game, and then off you go. So 
that's got you really sort of seeing how easy the front end is for players to be able to just do it all themselves. You could have a member of your staff take them through that and onboard them at the start of their game, and that's probably a good idea so that they kind of get a feel of what they're doing. But after that, customers can find their way around the, the whole uh, system really, really easily. Hello and welcome to Shuffle Puck. So I'm back for more augmented things because Andy only seems to like me for the augmented stuff, but uh, back for Shuffle Puck. So a little bit different in this in terms of kind of the darts, but really good game, really interesting. We've got three games to run through. So we're going to start with something called Tower Stacks. That is very much a case of traditional shuffleboard. So your rules are you've got four pucks, four pucks each, blues versus greens. It's very much a case of sliding it from one end of the board all the way to the other end, four points, all scored, all pucks, most points wins. Very much as simple as that. Uh, best of three across the three games. Yes. Stack first. You yeah. are first man. Up. I am first and I'm Go going to win this time, I think. Hopefully, he says. Anyway, right. You're green. I'm green. You're right green and blue. Yeah. Just as well. You have blue for Everton. Just. <laughs> <laughs> that might be a bit, that might be a bit pacey, that. No, you're looking all right. So it's close to the end, yeah? Close to the end, yeah, but all four count in this one. Oh, that, that is, too that is pacey. That's too Put too many beans. Too yeah. Okay. That's good news. You have been practicing, though. Well, I had to, you know, <laughs> after last time's humiliation, I had to prepare myself. It's not enough juice this time. I mean, if you want to play defensive for me, Andy, that is well, marvellous. Okay. Thank you. He's trying to help me out, though. Okay, so let's try and knock yours off and stop. Oh, I'm going to go off the side. Stop. Oh, that's all right, you've, you've gone off, I don't mind that. So all four count. All four count, yeah. Just close to the end, so all mine. Uh, uh, bend in, off. there we are. Oh, swazzed it around. So I've got to go for a very skillful shot. You've got to take all three of <laughs> them. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Or you could just go straight down the middle. That, that is okay. that is a, a, yeah, a royal a spanking. A yeah. yeah. One else <laughs> Welcome to game number two. This is Planet Odyssey. A little bit different on this. So there's a centre circle in the middle of the board, which you might be able to see just down the end. It's very much a case of aiming for it. So only one puck matters here, and that is the closest to it. So you've got four pucks each. It is closest to it. You'll play with all four. You can be super aggressive or be conservative or play to block. But closest to that centre circle wins. Good game. So remember, that little that little circular section okay. in the middle. Just one, puck counts. one puck counts. You get all four, obviously, but the closest one does win. Very gentle, Tom. Very gentle. Sure. But uh, <laughs> <You're> brilliant. <laughs> I'm a bit still playing tower stacks, aren't they? Uh, I mean, that's uh, that is wonderful. The tower stacks, yeah. I was actually trying to knock you one off. <laughs> I'm mildly, ple I'm mildly pleased with both of those. That's worked out a trick, to be honest. That is very gentle, that. Oh, you've, gone aggra you've gone aggressive again, haven't you? Aggressive again. Well, I've got to win this time, haven't I? <laughs> that is highly frustrating. So there we are. Right, what are you going to try and do? and nudge one out of the way on here. So if I am closest, which, which I am, you are, I want to just not mess this up. Yeah, all you got to do is get on the board, which is unfortunate for me. Okay, so there we go. Tactically just placed it there. And then I should be golden. Yeah. That was close, that mine. Here we go. Yes. One all. Third and final game something called Field Raid. Slightly different here, so this is a territory-based game, so you don't really want your ball, all your pucks in the same place. Everywhere from this line onwards, you want an even spread, so you're very much looking to take over the whole board. You're going to have a percentage of territory, so anywhere from 1% to 99% to 100% even. Very much a case of get your, get your puck spread super evenly across. That's how you're going to win this one. So, spread them even. Still going for your little dinky one at nope. the beginning? No, no. No, you're just going for the middle? Yeah. 
Beansy. Uh, no. That's wonderful work from you. That's wonderful work from you. Because if you go last, you should control the board. You should. However, I'm happy for you not to do that. I'm not really. No. no. Well, because if you were smart, depending on how you play this, I'd play it short. Uh, I'd have played it short simply. For, well, no, I can imagine. Um, I'm gonna find out to win this. Oh, that was too dinky. No, that's that is exactly where I wanted it. It is. is it? Yes, because so now you've got to play. You're either you're either going super aggressive and you're going to bash both. No. I'm just Okay. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> ah. I've totally messed that up. Congratulations, Tom. On 100% better, Drew. <laughs>Okay, so let's take you through the back-end functionality for you as an operator, and it's dead easy, but I'll take you through all the different bits. Uh, so we're in a demo session at the moment because we're obviously using it in the showroom and we're running a demo session to show you the gameplay, but that's what that is. We could refresh the booking or add 15 minutes. Uh, we could terminate the session if we wanted to, finish all of that, start again. Start a promo session. So this is if you as an operator wanted to train your staff, for example, or you wanted to have uh, 20 minutes to show your customers how to do it or maybe you invited an office down for their kind of staff party or something and you just want to give them 20 minutes to be able to play free for some reason so that's for you to be able to use uh, you can refresh the session so I don't know say it's crashed I mean it doesn't crash but if it did you could refresh it you can calibrate the cameras but once it's installed they're absolutely rock solid and I guess unless somebody goes and knocks it for some reason uh, so that's that Network settings, the important thing is you have to be connected to the internet, so the way that the sessions work is using your broadband connection, it sends a signal up to the cloud to say that you're wanting to initiate a new game, uh, and it will then pass that and then send a note down to say, play it. It will also do gameplay updates and any patches that are needed as well, because all of that IT support is all included as part of the package. Um, and so that's why you've got to be connected to a broadband setup. And it's not by Wi-Fi, it's got to be done by Ethernet cable. So you'll need to have an Ethernet socket by this system so that our installers can plug it in via an Ethernet cable. We don't use Wi-Fi because it's just not as robust as you'd need for something that's of commercial grade like this. So that's network settings. Um, you can reboot the whole terminal, so if this thing has crashed for some reason, it would just reboot it. Um, and that's it, that's all you need to know on there. Dead easy, as I said. Okay, so let's just run you through the commercials now that you've seen all the system and how it plays and the games and everything. So uh, all the pricing's on our website, so you can go and find it all on there. But you basically pay an upfront fee for the system to be installed for you, for us to um, configure everything, to give you access to the back end back office system so you can sort of see all your bookings, the amount of gameplay that you've had, what days have been the busiest. You've got access to all of that. That's included in there. We'll train your staff so when it's all installed, ideally you get all your staff that you want to be trained to be there. Once the installation team have finished, they'll run you through all the games, get your staff playing the game so they understand it and can teach customers to play. Uh, and they'll also show you through the back office system so you understand how that works on there as well. So if you want some more information on that, the best thing to do is to give our sales team a call they'll run you through all of the different sort of costs of everything and get everything set up for you okay so that's it that's shuffle puck so amazing new system i think it's going to wow your customers gives a great new spin on shuffleboard playing shuffleboard the normal game is fantastic but i think this adds an extra spin on it that will appeal to your customers particularly younger players they'll love the technology side as well as playing the game of, of shuffle pucks Key things to remember then, you must have in your venue to be able to accommodate this, is the board needs to be able to go up against a wall so that we can place the camera and the TV screen. You have to have it well lit, so you've got to have uh, spotlights that can be over it to light the play field for the camera to be able to track the pucks. And you also need to have a wired internet connection right by where our kit is going to go so that you can connect up um, your router to uh, via an ethernet port and we can plug our system into it. So that's really important. If you've got any questions at all, give us a call. Have a look at the website. 
or pop into the showroom. We've got one set up here in our showroom in Bristol. We also have one in our showroom that we have in the Crucible in Reading. So you could go there and have a look and have a play. If you'd like one of our staff to come and meet you there, give us a call, we can book that in. They'll come and meet you at that venue if that's more convenient for you. So that's it, Shuffle Pucks, great fun. Come and have a game.